Good morning. It's Carl Self, the Seattle Mortgage Professor. This week has been absolutely nuts. I kid you not. Uh, hope you guys had a great weekend or having a fabulous week. And I know we're late with the update this week, but there's been a lot going on. And I wanted to wait to see a little bit of what mortgage rates are doing. And as you know, we've lost a few hundred basis points in the last month and a half. And what's really going on is right now, uh, the economy is showing signs of strength and inflation. And in, the inflation is due to the new um, administration's $2 trillion spending bill and all in the name of COVID relief. We're seeing the economy recover before the relief, but they're still going to provide the relief. And what that's going to do is it's going to devalue the dollar because they have to print more money and sell more securities in order to fund that stimulus bill. And because of the amount of treasuries that they have to sell, it's going to create instability in the long-term treasuries because long-term I can earn more outside of uh, secure investments like treasury yields than I can in the treasuries. So we're seeing signs of strength in the economy. We're seeing signs of inflation. We're seeing a lot of debt. And this is going to cause interest rates to rise. I'm hearing predictions of 3.75 by the end of the year. Personally, I think I'm going to see uh, into the low fours by the end of the year. And I don't think there's any way around it. Uh, aside from that, uh, we're uh, at the 10-day moving average on the... Uh, 30-year mortgage-backed securities. We're looking at the 2.5 coupon now instead of the 2%, which means rates in the low threes, and that's exactly what we're seeing. We would talked about this, and we know that uh, this is going to be the norm going forward. We don't see any changes, so stay tuned. Hold on to your hats. This is going to get crazy for a while. Carl Self, the Seattle Mortgage Professor. Have a great day.